In this specific video, I'm going to talk about how to back up your email addresses and how to organize them so that when you do it on a consistent basis, then it's easy to access and easy to read for you in case you need to do anything in the future like restore your email addresses. So whether you're using GetResponse, Aweber, or any other service like an SMTP, or even you're hosting it on your website, you want to make sure that you back up your emails because you never know what could happen. Even though it may seem fine and dandy now, you know, the web hosting company could come along and suspend your account. The SMTP service could come along and ban your account and you won't have access to those email addresses anymore. So with GetResponse, it's actually very easy to do. If you go to contacts and click on search contacts, you'll get this page. Now, make sure you choose all contacts and all campaigns because I'm going to show you how to back up your lists in one click. So after that, you can simply click on search and this will basically show you a list and the total results. So we're going to click on select all. We're going to name the file name because we want to export the list to a CSV file. You can export it to XML or even XSL, but I'd recommend CSV, especially if you want to be able to export it and view it in Microsoft Excel or some sort of spreadsheet software. Now you want to name the file name. I would recommend that you create some sort of system that will allow you to remember exactly what the list is all about. So. I normally use the date and then of course the service. So I could do something like GR dash November 30th, 2013. And we could click on export. And at this page, it will show you basically what you have exported in the past few days. And then whenever this exporting turns to download, you simply click on download. And of course, when you download the CSV file, this is what you see. You're going to see the campaign name, the name, the email, and other information like demographical information that you can use to segment later down the road. But I just wanted to show you, for example, campaign, you can actually see the different campaigns. So that's definitely a plus that allows you to centralize everything in one spreadsheet. Now, if you're using something like Aweber, in my opinion, I like Aweber better in terms of this type of feature. GetResponse has a lot of good features that are way better than Aweber as well. So, but with Aweber, in terms of the backup feature, if you click on list options, click on backup and export all active lists, you're going to want to click on this green button. And then of course you're going to want to choose the email address and then click this green button. And what that's going to do is email you when the backup has been processed. Once that has happened, you will see this blue button and you can click it and download your list. Now the reason why I like Aweber in terms of this is because I'm going to show you this now, but if you open up your zip, you're going to find all of your lists in different folders. You double click the list, you're going to see broadcasts, follow ups, and leads. So you can see broadcasts, all the different broadcasts you sent out, all the different follow ups you set up and sent out, and then of course the leads. Now, Aweber's terminology in terms of active and inactive is slightly different than mine. When I say active, I think a subscriber on an, a list who is subscribed, who is active and who is reading your emails, has clicked on your links, has opened your emails and things like that. That to me is an active subscriber. An inactive subscriber to me would be somebody who is on your list, who is subscribed, but they're just not unsubscribing. They're not clicking links or being active. But with Aweber, when they say active, what they mean is subscribes, inactive meaning unsubscribes. Now, when it comes to testing and cleaning our emails, we want to come back here 
and clean the unsubscribes because that can actually cost you money down the road. A lot of people don't realize that they have a list of 10,000 and this has happened to me too. But I had a list of 10,000 and out of the 10,000, about 5,000 were inactive and a good amount of them are were unsubscribed but i was still paying on a monthly basis and a yearly basis and losing a lot of money so i definitely want to help you prevent that but this is how to back up the list and as you can see it's really really easy the hard part is organizing it on your computer so you want to make sure that you rename the file names to something that you are familiar with and that you categorize everything on your computer. So what you can do on your computer is have a specific folder called email backups. And then within that, perhaps have Aweber, get response, and maybe you could do something like ARP reach. And then whenever you're backing it up, what you can do is because over the years, you just get a ton and tons and tons of backups that what I normally do is I do 2012, 2013, the upcoming 2014. And that way it's segmented by year and it doesn't really get confusing. And that's the way I like it but you can do it however you wish. But I just wanna make sure that organize it on your computer or your Mac because it'll just make life easier for you, especially when you have to go back and take a look.